So this is the camera bundle version 2.3 and uh, the package consists of this brown box where we have the camera itself, a HDMI cable, then we have a power supply for the camera. So here we have a, this is a 12 volt, 1 amp adapter, but unfortunately this is with a US plug. Here in Denmark we use a European style plug instead, so I have to find another adapter. And um, here you have the DC connector and you see the outer ring here is the ground pin and the center pin is uh, the plus. Please check that before you decide to use another adapter. Also included in the box uh, we have two Barlow lenses. These lenses will make uh, the picture or the field of view much larger. So there's one of point 0.75 and one on point 0.5. So this is the point 0.5 Barlow lens. And the way it works is that it's just attached uh, to the bottom here. Uh, I'll show you uh, that a bit later. So yeah, this is the second one and uh, I think this was the 0.75 magnification. Let's see, there must be some writing here. Yeah, 0.75. And of course there's a mouse along. Um, this is just a low cost mouse. Uh, this will be attached to the camera itself. There's two USB ports and uh, thus you can get a menu system up uh, in the window and you can then change different settings and uh, we will also see that a bit later. The camera itself is in this aluminium housing and here uh, the camera is in here. You can just detach this one. That's the sensor inside, and this is called a C-mount uh, yeah, interface, and you can then connect different uh, lenses to this, and uh, this is pretty standard. What's interesting is what kind of sensor we have in here, and this is not specified anywhere, so we will have a look inside and try to figure out which, which sensor we are looking at. But the camera itself is quite sturdy in a aluminium housing and here on the back side we have a power port, a DC connector and there's an LED for showing the status of the camera and we have two USB ports and then we have the HDMI port where we can connect uh, the output to a monitor. But it could be interesting to tear it down and have a look inside and check out what's actually hidden in here. So I found uh, myself a screwdriver and uh, let's have a look and see if we can see what's inside here. I think I'll remove the screws from here. That's it. So there's not much inside. So we see here's a camera lens in behind here. It's totally enclosed so there will be no dust coming in. And then we have a flat cable here going into the controller board, the USB ports, HDMI connector, DC power plug. And what we see in here is actually a Linux computer. Uh, up here we have the main processor. Here we have the memory. 
and he has some uh, SDRAM DDR2 or something, I think. And that's just uh, power supply circuitry. So really not much going on here. On the back side, one of the main components is the USB hub. So I think that the main processor might only have one USB port and then this USB port is connected to this hub that will expose two USB connections. I don't see any details about which sensor is used here. There's no nothing on the silk screen. So I think that uh, one idea could be to get inside the Linux operating system and um, normally you have a connector with a UART or something and I think uh, over here we have this 3-pin connector so that could be ground and then RX and TX and normally you will connect a, a terminal program to this so I think I'll do that and uh, try to figure out what's going on when the device boots maybe we can see with sensor it's it's using uh, from that You see how I connected the camera to my UART. So the UART is uh, over here. It is this FTDI cable, and uh, it is connecting the UART to an USB interface on my laptop. And on my laptop, um, then I can go into a terminal program and see what's going on on the on the UART from the camera. Let's do that, but first uh, we need to check that the voltage level on the UART are within range, uh, so it should be 3.3 volt, but it could also be like an 8.8 .8 volt uh, UART and uh, that would cause some issues, so I just need to check that and uh, we will have a look on my oscilloscope. And here on the oscilloscope you see that the, the levels are 3.3 volts, so it's safe to continue. Let's have a look on the terminal program. Here I'll show you how to read out the UART from the camera. Um, for this program I use a program called uh, TRTERM. And we will just select the correct COM port here. And it's here on COM port 10. So in order to see something, we need to set up the font. You will just have a bit larger and let's take 16 and we need to set up the terminal program or the shell port. So we will use element 2500. And now we are ready. Let's turn on the power for the camera. And here we see the boot information. And hopefully we can see which type of camera we are using. So if we go up a bit here, we can see that it's actually using the IMX385. So here's a small summary of what we found inside the camera. So the main part is this IMX385 sensor from Sony. The rest of the parts we see here, that's the parts needed for making the Linux computer. Uh, that will take the output from the sensor and expose that to the HDMI interface. Via this uh, USB hub, it's also possible to control some of the settings inside the camera. This is done via the mouse that can connect to this USB 2.0 hub. So um, we know that in the old camera, uh, Northridge Fix was using the IMX290 uh, sensor 
and now they're using the IMX385 uh, sensor and uh, the IMX385 is actually a bit better sensor than the old one. You see that the prices, um, they are quite, it's quite an expensive camera. The North Ridge Fix camera comes with a price tag of 695 US dollars. And I think I found uh, the exact same one from a company called Lapson. Um, and that also includes a, a ring light. Um, so it's, it's nearly half the price and uh, yeah, I cannot say with the certainty that it's the same camera, but it looks very much to be the same. And they also say that they use the 385, uh, the Sony IMX385 sensor. And you can check out the links uh, that I added to the description down below. Um, I'm not that unhappy that I paid a bit higher price tag for the camera. It's also a way of supporting uh, Northridge Fix uh, doing their videos. But um, yeah, I think a fair price would be around uh, 450 US dollars, uh, 695. That's a bit uh, overpriced, I think. Thank you for watching and um, see you in the next one.